In this video, I'm going to show you how to update the profile page, which is available out of the box in Microsoft Power Pages. Now, just to give you uh, a basic uh, introduction, uh, now I'm in make.powerpages.microsoft.com. So this is one of the simple site which I have created. Uh, now I have enabled the profile and that's why I'm able to see uh, the profile information, okay? Now, when you preview your site, it will look something like this. It will ask you for authentication. And then once you do an authentication, like once you get authenticated using Azure Active Directory, uh, then you will be landing into the profile page, okay? <clears throat> so the goal is basically to uh, edit the profile page. Now, this is how the profile page will look like, okay? Now, if you see this profile page, it has a lot of components in it, okay? So it has uh, various things, like the first section, if you see, it says basic introduction about the profile page. Uh, then there is a form, uh, which allows you to fill up the first name, last name, email, business phone, uh, and so on. And then we have uh, how we may contact you, okay? So these are the sections, okay? Now, let me just, unzoom it and let me show you in this one page okay yeah so this is how the uh, the profile will look like okay now here uh, if you see there are sections right now let me mark the section okay now if you see this part you know this is one part okay this is number one one part this part this is a form okay now this is a second part and this one is a third part. So we are going to play around with this three part. Uh, now, uh, if you see here that this section just gives basic information, right? It is of adding no value. So maybe I'll delete this, okay? And even this one, I don't want this. And also here in the profile information, maybe I'll just keep first name, last name, email, uh, business phone. That's it, you know? I don't want any other thing, okay? So how do we go ahead and, you know, like uh, make this a clean interface, okay? So in order to do that, now, first thing, we need to identify where this first component comes from, then the second one, and then the third one, okay? So let's jump into the Power Platform uh, backend page. So if I'm in the design studio, I'll just go into Power Pages Management. So the first part which I'm going to show you is, uh, uh, like just going into the active web pages. So in, if you go in the back end, then you will see that uh, under web pages, if I search for profile, okay. Now here, uh, my web page is uh, the profile page. So maybe if I just go and select this profile page, okay. If I click on this profile page for the specific site, I can see the content page, okay? Now here in the content page, I can see this text, HTML text, right? Now this is the same text which is which appears over here. Please provide some information, tell the post. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna copy, select everything, delete it, save and close, okay? So that's the first change we made. Second thing, if I go into the site settings, if I go into the site settings, and if I type in profile, then I can see a site setting called as profile show marketing options panel. And if I pick up the correct site, so my site name is Queensland. So if I click on profile show marketing options panel, then I can put the value as false. And click on save and close now what what this does is basically it it removes this section how we may contact you you know it will remove this section so we worked with the number one we worked with the number three now let's jump into number two which is a form now this form is basically a contact form okay so if you go into the back and make.powerapps.com and if you pick up uh, if you're on the right environment so i'm in girish plot right environment uh if i click on contact And here, if I go into the forms, then here I have a form called as profile web form. Okay, if you see this profile web form, this is the form. 
But this is not the form which we are looking for. There is an another form called as profile web form enhanced. Okay. Now there is an another form profile web form enhanced Japanese because I have the Japanese uh, language installed in it. Now I will click on profile web form enhanced. Okay. Now if I click on it, it will take me to the editor whereby I can customize the form. Now remember, uh, if you see this form, like what we have decided that if you click on uh, this form, I just want the first four fields, right? First name, last name, email, and business phone. Rest all should go. So if I go into this form, I can see that display names, profile web form, and answer. It's a description. This form is used by the portal for the user adopted their contact info. Okay. First name, last name, I want. Email, business phone, I want. Organization name, I do not. I don't want this. So what I can do, I can either hide it or delete it. Let me hide this. So if you click on title, just click on hide, then click on public profile, copy, height, nickname, height, preferred language, height, owner. I don't want owner, I'll hide this. So now I have a clean form, first name, last name, email, business phone. What I'm going to do, click on save and publish. <clears throat> now this form is saved and published. Uh, what I can do, I can go into the Power Pages site and I've made all the three changes. So let's see whether that those changes are reflected or not. I'll click on sync. Okay, so I think it's synced now. So let me click on preview and then preview the desktop site. Now I am in the site. Let me go into the profile. So my name, click on profile. And I can see it's now have a cleaner look okay so we have got rid of the first number item which was some description text second we have cleaned up the form we just wanted four fields it's there and then the profile marketing options panel which we got rid of okay so what we have done we have done a good cleanup of the profile page and it looks so nice uh now remember by default when you turn on the uh, like when whenever you start provisioning the power pages site you will not get this profile information okay so you will not find a place to log in or log out okay uh so there is one setting uh, which i'm going to quickly show it to you there is something called as profile enabled okay so what you need to do against your specific site say for me it's queensland i've enabled the profile the moment you turn this on then only you will be able to see this profile uh, link okay now that's the first step you need to do and then once you are uh, once you do that then you can uh, view the pages also just to give you some brief introduction like this home page i've locked it okay so what i've said is i have set the page settings as permissions as i want to choose who can see this page only authenticated users okay so that means it will prompt you for logging in okay also uh, if I go to setup identity providers here I've turned off the uh, uh, turned on the Azure Active Directory so all the users needs to be authenticated using Azure Active Directory or local sign in and that's why you see the prompt you know like if I just log off then uh, I'm seeing those prompts like uh, login using either Azure Active Directory or using a local sign in okay and that's why it will give you this form and if you if you log in using Azure AD, then it will authenticate you based on your Azure Active Directory account, and then you will be able to landing uh, able to land in your profile page, and thereby you can update the profile page. So that's it, folks. This is a basic introduction about how to customize this profile page. Also, what I've done is I have made this uh, image uh, editable as well. Now, this is not available by default. You know, it is coming from this. Like if you see this pencil icon counts, it doesn't come by default. So uh, there are some uh, settings, uh, like if you see here, profile slash show image, I marked it as true for this particular site. If you do that, then uh, it will uh, allow you to edit 
this image else it will be disabled by default so we have made so many changes in this profile page to make it work make it look uh, nice uh, now this was uh, so let me again show it to you by logging in so i'm just logging into sign in with the national external account Azure ad now what happens when you log in it will uh, show you this profile information okay this is how the clean interface looks like now this one which was there earlier so that what we have done in this particular example is we got rid of this part we got rid of unnecessary fields and also we have got rid of this particular panel as well okay and once we are done with that uh, we get a clean looking profile page so that's it folks this is all about cleaning your power pages profile page thanks for watching